It's time to fit your headgear. Put your headgear on. Once you have your headgear aligned with your brow bone, tighten that first loophole. Make sure it doesn't start to pull up and get away from your brow bone. Tighten it just enough to where it's tight and you're pulling down. It doesn't go below the brow bone to the first loophole. Then take your headgear off. This is the first loophole, okay? Once that's engaged, again, check it one more time. Make sure it aligns with my brow bone. Yep, that's perfect. Take a Sharpie. Go from the second, third, and fourth loopholes. Put the Sharpie down through and connect. Next, put your headgear back on. I'm going to use a mannequin so I can describe this better. Let's engage the Velcro. So you'd be engaging the Velcro on your own head. Once that Sharpie's in place, you'll reach around and grab each one and tighten them up. You can have someone else do this also. Now I want you to think about the reasoning of why we put this Sharpie here. This headgear has technology memory foam in it. And if I go too tight on these loopholes, the second, the third, and the fourth, that's the pressure of the forehead. Again, it's memory foam. The tighter you go, the more pressure it's gonna cause on your forehead, you're definitely gonna feel it as you're going. So this is why we use a Sharpie. It creates a little bit of, of slack and less pressure on the forehead as you break it in. This, this should be paid attention to for probably your first four to six uses. After that, you can start going a little bit tighter as the foam breaks in. We take this, we tighten it just enough to be snug. Don't over tighten. Okay, so that's good. You see that when this head gear is sitting here, the Sharpie's almost going straight down, and then the headgear continues to curve down the back of the neck. Tighten up the neck. Okay, now once I get past that fourth loophole, my fifth, sixth, and seventh loophole, I can go tighter. This is what grabs the neck. Okay, this will keep the headgear engaged and not moving around. Tie it up. Take out the Sharpie. Take the headgear off. Take it off your own head, not a mannequin. Take your lace and tuck it back behind the neoprene, in between the neoprene and the composite material. This will hide your lace and keep your lace from dangling on the back of your neck. As you can see, the laces are a little bit looser right here. We want that your head, it, they'll start to move into position, but again, making sure that you don't over tighten loophole two, three, and four, because that memory foam will cause a lot of pressure on your forehead. Pay attention to this through your break-in process. Enjoy the headgear. The quick release zipper, designed for quick exiting of your headgear. Pop the Velcro straps. Undo the zipper. Pull forward. Headgear comes off very quick. The quick release zipper is only designed for exiting the headgear. If you're putting your headgear back on or entering your headgear, make sure that your zipper is always engaged. This is incorrect way of putting on your headgear. Do not put your headgear on with your zipper disengaged. Make sure your zipper is engaged when putting on your headgear. Never put your headgear on when the zipper is disengaged. It will cause damage to that zipper. 